past, past, and more, P-A-S-T. What's up, 23% Nation? It's your man, Coach D. And yes, guys, today we're still talking about forgiveness. <laughs> so without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump into today's topic of forgiveness in I Got Into a Fight on Forgiveness Day, Part 9. Okay, now, for eight consecutive videos, we've been talking about the concept of forgiveness. And in every video, I would like for us to always reflect on something that may make forgiving others and asking for forgiveness and forgiving ourselves just a little easier. So, for today's video, this is something that I would like for everyone to remember, myself included, is that forgiveness is a gradual process, meaning of long duration. Now, I've stated jokingly that I have forgiveness fever, which means I am forgiving everyone for everything. Now, here's the thing, guys. Probably tomorrow morning, you're not going to wake up and have an attitude of forgiveness. Chances are you'll still be holding on to grudges, resentment, and bitterness, and that's okay. But understand this, that moving slowly but surely towards forgiveness is definitely a good thing. So you may want to start out with something rather small. Maybe it could be, I don't know, maybe when you were back in first grade and little Johnny stepped on your toe and maybe dirtied up your brand new pair of shoes. Well, start out with forgiving him, <laughs> okay? And then slowly but surely, start working on bigger things, things that are more difficult, things that you probably would never ever forgive in a million years. So remember this, start small and big. So I hope that really, really helps you out. Okay, so now let's hop into today's tip. All right. Or shall I say today's solution? <laughs> Guys, tip number nine is the past is the past. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the past is always the past. So in recognizing this tip, here are a few things that you may want to consider that I believe will help make Forgiveness Day successful for you. Number one. You got to realize that you can't change the past. However, you can definitely learn from it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we must be willing to learn our lessons. Now, I talked much more about that in a previous video, so you may want to go back and watch that one. I'm not sure which part it was, but I know I talked about it. <laughs> OK, so always understand this. The past is the past. You can't change it. However, you can learn from it. So if there's any type of gratifying or maybe a horrible experience that you went through a year ago, five years ago, 20 years ago, and you can learn something from it, chances are you can learn something from it, <laughs> okay? Also, don't use old eyes. And notice that the word old is in quotations. You know, someone once said to me, if you're constantly focusing on your past, how in the world will you ever see your future? In other words, ladies and gentlemen, we need to stop looking in our past. We need to stop blaming other people and we definitely need to stop blaming ourselves for any type of experience that didn't quite go our way. Now, in saying this, it's very, very easy for us to blame other people. It's very easy for us to not hold ourselves accountable. It's also very easy for us to not feel as though we are responsible for our current circumstances. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know that you are totally responsible for your current circumstances and you are definitely accountable for everything that is happening in your life right now. So let's not use old eyes to focus on the future as well as the present. 
Now, some of us may be in a bad relationship, whether it's with a man or a woman, doesn't really matter, but it's possible that maybe you are afraid from entering a new relationship. Why? Because chances are you haven't forgiven anyone from a previous relationship. Also, when it comes to your financial circumstances, you may want to blame the economy for your lack of funds. Well, is it really the fault of the economy or is it really you? And for all of my college students that are out there, you may say, you know what? My professor was the reason why I failed that class. Well, once again, we're not taking responsibility and we're not holding ourselves accountable. So starting today, let's not use old eyes to see our new futures as well as our present. And my last little thing that I would like to consider is let's start practicing mindfulness. Now, when we talk about the concept of mindfulness, really what we're talking about is being aware of what's happening right now. You see, when you practice mindfulness, you realize that the past is the past and that the future is the future. Instead of focusing on the past and instead of focusing on the future, you focus on what is happening right now. You see, guys, mindfulness is a form of gratitude. So in other words, what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? What do you really appreciate right now? Do you really appreciate your health, your financial status, your significant other? things that are going right in your life, things that are going wrong in your life. It's always a good idea to practice mindfulness. That way, the concept of forgiveness is a little easier. That's right. And I'll tell you this, when you're able to use quote unquote new eyes, when you're able to learn from your past, and when you're able to practice mindfulness, you know what that allows you to do? You guessed it, it allows you to live your dreams. <laughs> That's right, guys. So really what I'm trying to say is that practicing forgiveness is probably one of the best things that you can do, not only for yourself, but also for other people. It allows you to get rid of those low frequency emotions that I've been talking about. We've discussed this, the worry, the guilt, the shame, the fear, the sadness. You get rid of all that. And once you get rid of all of those low frequency emotions, guess what the universe sends you to replace those with? That's right, high frequency emotions. So say goodbye to the worry, the guilt, the shame, and the fear, and the resentment, and say hello to joy, to happiness, to excitement, and ultimate bliss. That way, you live your dreams, <laughs> okay? Whatever they may be. Guys, I really do hope that today's talk has really, really helped you out. It has definitely helped me out. I feel better, <laughs> okay? So I wanna thank you for watching. I definitely wanna thank you for listening. And as always, eat well, feel well, think well, do well, be well. And of course, we have one question of the day. Let's not forget that. And our question is, if you could change your past, would you? <laughs> now, I do understand that a lot of us will probably say yes. Well, if you say yes, state why. If you say no, state why as well. So once again, 23% Nation, our question of the day is, if you could change your past, would you? Guys, this is Coach D of the 23% Challenge. I'm out and definitely, definitely stay tuned for part 10 because it is coming your way. Take care and God bless.